All right, guys, let's let's check this out real quick. Let's, let me make my rating. Here's the issue with this. I think people have massively improved. I beat Simo too. It's not looking good for Simo. How do you go from losing to me to winning? I just like don't understand. These are two big firsts, I think. These are fucking huge firsts. Everyone's improving so fast. The recent results are um, insane. They cook everything they touch. I believe it, but I only care about numbers and results. This is crazy. After looking at results. <laughs> okay, I need to see Aussie play more. I like almost want to put Eddie over Aussie now. Okay, but I would little Okay, I went in this. I was going to put Eddie like th fourth or fifth. And then I looked at the results. And now my now I'm skewed. No, but it's just true. Like... Top three matters more than first or 15th. You have to view it that way. That's not, that's how it works. Consistent is actually better. And I'm looking at the results and Eddie's results are actually so much better than anyone else's now. That it's like kind of insane. Actually, Zeb is really good results too. It's just this one race. Zeb actually might be crazy. How, what what's your logic for putting him over Oss? Sefi. Nitro is kind of super cracked too. Andy, I'll look at you soon. Okay, no one, you can't. No one would put Solski. I mean, Solski is good, but there's no way he's above. I mean, is he above Andy? No way, right? Let me see. But that doesn't matter, Sefi, because like Spiffy's better than everyone, and his movements like way worse. But I see what you mean. Sort of. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm just looking at stats and numbers. That's all that matters. Movement literally doesn't matter. You could be a brand new little baby and still, like, cook if you had, like, godlike. But Oss actually is insane movement. But Eddie... Eddie does probably have better... I don't know who has better random movement, though, because that's what matters here. My only issue with Oss is I had him undisputed number one, but, like, I can't understand the recent results. It's actually throwing me for a loop. But if you go back, Oss has a lot of firsts. Like, but this is early on-ish. He just gets first every time almost. Look at all these first. It's really hard to dispute this, but my only issue is it's too long ago. If you if you if you were to make the rankings within two months, it's Oss is easily number one and it's not close. And there's no logic against that. But if you if you put recent times, like the current skill level, I think it's really tough. Because I just don't know how Oss will do. Okay, so let me think for a bit. Alright, I went into this thinking different things, but actually using logic and looking at numbers. Because this isn't a feel- you don't do feel base for this. You have to actually look at results. How do I get back to the leaderboard? I will open up- Alright, let me look at Nev- Nevdi's recent results are- is why... <sighs> Nevdi's recent results I think are really good. Like, extremely good. This is like a lot of pretty damn good races and a lot of firsts. Like, Nevdi did beat Eddie in two recent races and also beat Zeb recently. In four recent races, Nevdi beat Eddie. Oh, where's beat the game? Oh, this one? Okay, true, true. But I wasn't talking about you, Zeb. I was talking about Eddie. This is pretty interesting. I actually think this is really hard to, to, to rank. Because every time I look at each individual results, I get, like, kind of confused. Where's Zeb? Oh. All right. And Zeb's resu results are really good, too, for the most part. Yeah, it's funny. Actually, it's pretty crazy. <sighs> huh. This is actually impossible. Yeah, it's tough. I need to see Aussie race more people, I guess. He needs to join more. It's. I actually think Aus not racing recently is, makes it really hard. Because he had like 50 firsts in a row. For like, not even that, like two months ago. He had like, you know, 15 firsts. And now he like, kinda hasn't done super great on some, so it's like kinda weird. Honestly, true Zeb. 
True. I mean, I, I do think you... I do think, like... I might... I think Eddie is probably... I was going into this thinking he was lower rated, but then I, after looking at it, it's like kind of tough. Ah, but it's because consistency is so good, but I'm looking at who he beats and it's actually tough because Eddie's lost in the races. He's has other people in them that are good. He's not ever really beating them. So it's kind of hard. Like the recent ones. You and Nevdi actually beat him. So it's kind of weird for me to want to put some, t like, oh, but, but I have to think of it differently. Kind of like team fight tactics where getting top four is like a win, sort of. So like, how often are you guys not placing in that range when there's other good players? And is Eddie only beating really good players when like it's a seed catered to his strengths? Where he does tech that no one else does. Because so I don't think that necess that doesn't make him better at uh, randos necessarily. Because I think randos is way more about decision making than it is on anything else. Which is why Spiffy is so fucking good. Um, I also don't know where to put Spiffy, to be honest. I like have no idea where to put Spiffy. Just put Solsky above Andy. No, <laughs> I actually can't. Yeah, but that, again, that doesn't necessarily make you good. I actually think is is Spiffy just throttled from like mechanics a little. That that might be it. If it's a super like linear seed, like is he just kind of getting throttled from some mechanics? He really is good though. Yeah, I don't know. This is actually impossible. The problem is the problem is is who be two. So like, let's say Eddie's second. And then I look and recently he loses the Nevdi and Zeb. So it's like, okay. But that does the head, how much does the head to head actually matter? I would need to like, just actually like really cross reference all these. And this is too hard a task. It's like actually impossible looking at these results. Like I, I like don't even, I don't, it's hard for me to even say Aussie's number one. When I look at the results recent, when I look at the recent results, if you ignore this page, what's this? I don't know, dude. I, uh, if you stop here, if I stop here, I would not put Aussie number one. I don't see how you can put Aussie number one. If you stop here, you put him like top three. But if you stop a month ago, 613, and I only look at those, What's what is the logic for putting him number one? Because here he didn't he didn't beat very strong runners except Derp and Nev oh I guess Nevdi sucked actually here. Why is it arbitrary though? I think I think skill is developing so fast. I think you, I'd have to look at like patches. And I only said that because there was a weak difference from when he played. But yes, it's it there are arbitrary cut. I don't know when you cut it off. This is weird though, but but if you look, if you count all the way back two months, it's just hard. Yeah, I think I think the only way to do this, guys, is I need a time frame. Otherwise, it's too impossible. If you give me a one month like results based on a month, interesting. But yeah, I can't make this list. It's impossible. Where's Oats on this? Eddie uh, uh, Oats is a Oats is a dark horse for sure. Oats is definitely way more inconsistent because Oats seems to be able to win versus anyone, but he can also like lose versus like the top 10, it seems pretty easily. He's, he's either like getting top three or like 10. So it's like kind of weird. I, I don't even feel comfortable with what I'm writing right now. Eddie's, uh, Nevdi's has done so good recently. No, I actually, I'm going to be totally honest. I can't tell who's uh, based off this. I cannot tell who's is, who's better. Let me look at Zeb again. It just depends how far back we go. But Zeb has a lot of wins over Eddie and Nebdi. God damn it. Okay, you know what? I can't I need a time frame. I need a time frame. It just depends how far back we go. It just depends how far back we go. I actually might think Zeb is third though. <laughs> Cause only if we if we're if I'm counting back 
my arbitrary time frame, which is like a month, then I definitely think Zeb is at least third. I cannot believe Oats is up. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is like really impossible. It's weird though. With recent results, it's like really weird for me to. I I. There's actually an argument that like Zeb is also like on the top three, like interchangeably. I can't do this without have ha without you guys giving me a time frame. Nevdi, I don't know how you possibly made this list. No, I'm not. No, no, no. I'm not posting this on YouTube. The SM community, some people might become too sensitive maybe and, and get angry at me. I don't want it. I don't want that. Oats can do it. That's fine. It's too impossible. I've been analyzing for like the past 30 minutes and I think there's some validity in what I'm saying, but one through four, I like, for instance, I, I was, I, for, I always thought I, I, I had a much different perspective till I actually analyzed this. And then I looked at it and like, it's, if I, if I am giving them all about one month of results, if I base it off one month and I look, Aussie to me is like actually maybe not number one. So it's like, how far back do we stop? But if you count the last two months, Aussie would easily be number one. No, no con contest. I hate this. I can't do this. This is way too hard. Eddie, who I was going to originally rank like four or five based off what I was seeing on results and the rounds I play, Eddie, I thought was doing worse, but then I looked through all the results and it's not just head to head. It doesn't matter if Nevdi beats Eddie or someone beats Eddie, like Oates beats Eddie. What matters is the consistency for these, I think. So like, it's like team fight tactics slightly, like your top placements matter. There's an argument for, there's an argument. It just depends how far back you go. That's it. Like if we go far enough back, Aus you can't even argue that Aussie's not number one. It's like brain rot to argue otherwise. He's like 51st. But if I were to actually do it, here's the issue. It, it depends how what, what we value here, right? Like, Eddie's to me now most most likely the most consistent. But Nevdi and Nevdi and Zeb in recent races have a he better head to head versus him. But does that matter? Because if Eddie's always placing top three and Nevdi and Zeb are placing one through five or one through six even, it's like, Oats is weird. And Oats, I'm going to talk as if you're not here, but um, we already went over yours a little bit. But I was saying how your biggest issue is like, you're like top three or you're like struggling. It's like you're super like, okay, Oats can just win top three or he's like gonna struggies so it's like that random inconsistency is like the issue for for play and placing you is incredibly difficult because of that and again i actually don't love os's recent results they're really weird to me and they're they basically are losing to the top three i mean i think you're only going to get better for sure okay but okay can we talk can we agree on a time frame can you guys give me a time frame because how else can I do this? I think it's actually impossible to rank unless you give me a month basis to do it on. No, I meant uh, a time frame which to judge your results. If I'm not top three and putting you, I mean, I, <laughs> I mean, if you're talking to me, then of course, I mean, that's, I don't even mind. You put me last, bro. I wouldn't even care. <laughs> so that's fine. I'm not in this conversation. I'm just ranking you guys. Let's talk to Eddie. But. I probably won't put you three. <laughs> Don't hate me, dude. I love you. Much love, brother. I can tell you where I think I would loosely place you. I think I'd place you around where you said. Um, in some order, Oss, Eddie, Zeb, Nevdi are like, those ones are up there. I guess I'm trying, let me see your argument for putting yourself above Nitro. I'm going to look at Nitro's results. Oh, it's Nitro? Oh, I don't like that. I'm going to call him Nitro. Okay. Oh wait, is this a different runner? Wait, is Nitro... Oh yeah, that is a different runner. What the fuck? How'd that happen? This is a strong... I mean, this is... Crazy off the rip. Okay, so another... So, so Oats and Nitro actually have similar issues. Is what I'm seeing. But I'm actually seeing Nitro 
shamble maybe more maybe but jesus i i'm i'm seeing them i'm not counting the beat the games i'm mostly only looking at big races anyways i'm seeing like looking for other names too i'm not just looking at yeah i'm not really looking at these this is interesting too uh nitro's results like this on i mean again how well no this is part of what i've been looking at at least like a month I don't know, man. Nitro's kind of crazy. Shit, dude. This makes me think Nitro's kind of higher. The recent results are not as good. So, let, okay. Okay. Beat the game. Wait, Nitro's actually insane. These are a lot of beat the games. I wish I could filter. But, okay. This is two rough map rando races of recent. Nitro's racing so much. These are like... Okay, so in, oh man, but all these map randos are like pretty strong. You know, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, I actually can't do this ranking. It's 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 too much. Sefi. I don't know if I can trust your top three. I think you're are you doing this with your heart or with hard raw logic and and statistics? Because I've been thinking about this a lot. I don't want to hear I don't want to hear heart decisions. Okay, I got your top three. Imid and Nostachio. <laughs> Is that in terms of like stupidity and goons? Because me, me and Imid and Stasio are cooking. Top three gaslighters. I actually think I've retired from gaslighting and I'm not even kidding. Zeb's kind of cracked, man. How about this? Yeah, this, this, this stresses me out too much. I actually can't do this ranking. I think it's too impossible. I think without... Having a very specific, um, yeah, I think so too. I actually think at the moment, hmm. I used to think Aussie was a tier above, but I don't think that anymore. Based off the recent, I have to see, I need to see Aussie race now, like right now. For some people. Nevi, some of your first are fucking me up for your rating. But I have to look at your ver racing verse. Okay. I might have to say... I actually probably think uh, Zeb is ahead of Nevdi. And I think Aussie and Eddie have arguments for first. Because I think consistency is important. And I think Zeb is literally right behind them. And then Nevdi's right behind Zeb. That's maybe what I think for top four. Maybe. I'm going to be honest. There's a slight part of me that puts Nitro above Spiffy. I think I didn't not realize how cracked Nitro was. Yeah, I think Nitro Nebdi is like actually the same tier. To me, it looks like I just th I think I value recent results. Yeah, I have to look more. Okay, where's the next? Let me so so you guys think I'm underrating Simo, correct? Let me see Simo's results. What about Path? Doesn't Path pop the fuck off? I feel like Path is underrated. Okay, let me. Okay, but to be honest, that might be true, Sefi. But I'm looking at this completely unbiased. Eddie's literally one of my closest friends, like IRL, and I was going into this going to rate him like fifth. And I, I was being honest. That is literally how I thought things were turning out until I actually looked at results. And in the end, results are all that matter. I know Simo's really good. Damn, these are two incredibly strong firsts. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm not looking at the DNF. I'm not really counting it. I'm not, I, I'm just looking at this big race. That's a beat the game, beat the game. What's up with this? Oh, was that that weird seed? Oh wait, no, I don't know. What's up with this? This is a little weird, but I guess it's a really stacked lobby anyways. Beat the game. Okay, let's see, map rando. Yeah, Simo actually has a lot of crazy firsts. It seems like they own, but they actually suffer from the oats thing, but from a lesser degree, it looks like. Like they get first more. And they also, like, can shamble. Because, like, I'm seeing a little too many shambles. There's, like, few shambles. I think the few shambles, you just can't ever put them above the consistent runners. But it's close. I don't know. Uh, now I'm, uh, I'm kind of confused now on this one. 
Um, I think this is like interesting. Simo might actually be above Nitro. I, I guess I have no idea. Right. Well, that's hard to judge then, right? I mean, I'm just judging based on results. But like a lot of really strong firsts. A lot of really strong firsts. Um, these are unordered. So now the argument. Now there's the next one I probably think. Let me look at Andy some more. I think Andy is probably below Spiffy and Oats for sure. So let me look at some other. But I think Andy and Path are close. Let me let me put like Andy Derp. So let's get rid of Nevdi. Let's put Andy Derp, Spiffy. Um Okay. So let's look at some of these other ones. Who's Nito? I'm bringing oh I'm bressing him. Let's bring let's bring bressing him into the Let's bring Bressingham into the situation. Crazy to just slam a first. I think to get a first with this type of lobby, you just have to be really good. Like you can't not be good, but you also could kind of get lucky, I guess. If you only have one first, it's possible you did like a weird decision that was like kind of lucky. But yeah, I wouldn't put them super high because of this, but. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, I need oats. Who's Nito? I mean, Nito... Is Nito out here cooking or pretty new? Kind of cooking? Um, what about Derp? Isn't Derp really good? Derp beat Zeb and Aussie. Like... Yo, Sefi though? Sefi for top 10 though? Wait a sec. Hold on. Hold the phone! <laughs> Sefi? Derp has some pretty interesting results, honestly. Two times beating Zeb is kind of crazy. Beating Oats here. Derp's actually kind of up there. I'm I'm almost thinking like, wait, these results are actually kind of good. That's beat the game, beat the game, beat the game, beat the game, beat the game. Beat. Who the fuck, dude? Somebody beat the games. Okay, Derp. Oh, Nev, dude, bro. Derp's pretty good. Was Derp not on your top 10? Because to me, it seems like he should be. Oats just has too much potential. It's hard to really hard to rank him. But I think it's this. I think I'm gonna slam. I think this is kind of what I'm shaping up. I just slammed them all, but. And I'm getting kind of tired. This is. What about MM2? Look at Andy's again. Like, even Poff is good. Like. I feel like even Poff is like. Close to Andy. Or better. I, I don't know. Like, Poff. Just these right here is like an insane showing for Poff. To me, is what I think. Beating Spiffy here, beating Eddie here, and Baron, Mo, Luna, expressing him. Like, all those guys are good. Um, beating Bressing him again. You know, it's, it's actually pretty close. Holy shit, man. The thing is, I can't really include, like, ran, like... This is, I mean, he beat Oats straight up one versus one, beat Oats again. Um, beat Oats again. What's that shit? You know what? I actually think it's just Andy. <laughs> and I'm not I'm not just saying that. It's actually looking like Andy. Um I, I actually think it is Andy. Okay, to be fair though, this is unordered and this is unordered. I just couldn't make a decision. What's up, secret? So I I copped out. I can't make a decision. These are unordered. And this is unordered. Um it seems like Simo could actually be number four, but so could, I think there's an argument for Nebdi's recent results. There is recency bias. You have to have recency bias and of like, if you have to count like the most, th I, I think like the most five recent map rando races count more than anything before it is how I feel because because of how rapidly everyone's improving. Um, yeah, you guys probably have extra in for sure. It's really hard for me to make this decision. Yeah, I was looking at Nito, and I think Nito, I, I was saying that Nito, like, is Nito just cracked? Like, so that's the race. Like, Nito has good, but like, they beat Simone Derp. That's really good. They beat, but I'm just looking at who they beat in the top 10. You have to, like, quickly analyze. Um, so like, okay, they beat Nitro and Spiffy. 14th here is pretty rough, lost to a lot of people. 
I think that's like a really rough in terms of like placing, but it's only one, so that's like an outlier. But okay. Here's just kind of like almost what's ex it's hard because there's just not enough races. So to me, it's just not enough, but they could potentially get really good. There's just not enough. So to me, it's like five has the most value Zeb, but I still need more info. So it's too hard to rank them. I didn't really look at Solsky. I should look at Solsky. Solsky actually is better than I thought. Wait, these results. Wait, Andy, stop watching because there might be a problem here. Solsky beat Oss literally twice recently. <laughs> if we are going to rank Oss one and Solsky beat Oss twice recently, Bressingham, Baron. This is a rough. This kind of kills it, but it's only one. Resting him, Pef, Simo, Andy. The issue with Solsky is... Oh, no, it's a DNF. But I'll be honest, like, Solsky's recent races... and Solsky's head-to-head -head is B2, Andy. You realize that, yeah? You know, Solsky's... <laughs> Wait. Solsky's results are actually not bad. And he, he... I mean, I'm not saying he's better than you, Andy, but... He's almost beaten you in every race. Literally in the past like month every single time i'm like i'm not even trolling i like actually think there's an argument for solsky now in here and i am like seriously not trolling i mean you can tell me why i'm wrong i just threw pap up pap up there i want to look again i actually think there's an argument for path 10 too is this it? Why why is there is this the only races? Oh wait, no, it's that's second page. Path has crazy results. Actually. Wait. I think there's actually a really strong argument for Path 10 now. There's one bad race, but the few races have really good results. And both above. I actually have to throw Path in here too. Okay. This is actually my list. I was not, I didn't actually think, yeah, I think, um, I think this is really good, actually. Yeah, I can do that. That's, I'm done here. But, um, he made, yeah. But Andy, I'm just looking at results. It's possible, like, yes. But just looking at results, it's like, his results are actually, like, good. Um, just straight up. Okay, well that's my list. And and watch for Nito, who knows? Unordered. Uh I would almost I almost give 10 to path here though. I almost give 10 to path here in a way, but Tim and Sefi. Yeah, I think Sefi Sefi has an issue though of Sefi's a little too inconsistent, but he gets a, he Sefi has like an issue, the same issue I have, but almost worse, I think. But he's be he's better at map randos, but he does the emit, and he gets really focused and tunnel visioned. And he and if he finds something he wants to do, he wants to conquer it so much that he'll literally just lose going for it. But if he if he gets a seed where he's following logic correctly, Sefi often like will place really high. So. Sefi probably has the worst case of tunnel vision, though. When it comes to a trick he just wants to do. And Sefi, if you're in here, you can tell me why that may be true or not. That's from what I've noticed. But if Sefi gets a seed where he follows logic uh, correctly and, like, does the path and, like, can make the decisions, then he actually starts cooking. So, I don't know. Sefi's too much of a wild card. At the moment, but Sefi has a lot of, I mean, for sure Sefi could do some stuff and he can cook. He could, he could easily have been in this top 10 list if he like didn't have such like rough, um, just a few rough performances. I'd say I knew Sefi would be good though at these. Yeah. When Sefi doesn't get hard locked on a, on a tech. He, he actually has pretty damn good results. Yeah, it's like pretty muddied up down here. It's like anywhere. 
All right, let's look at Timon. I'm going to look at Timon and then be done. Where's Timon? Beating Oats and Sefi. Beating Solsky, Aussie, Zeb. Simo. This is a crazy race. Kind of rough. Beating Oats. DNF. Beating Cheesy, Bressing Ham. Yeah, it seems like Timon can definitely pop off. But they don't play much. Timmy doesn't play much at all, actually. But looks like they have the potential. So I like this. All right, this is my list. I'm done. Uh, I can't choose here. I can't choose here. It might actually be Simo fourth, though. Then Nebdi Nitro, I don't know. It's hard to say. Uh... Okay. Well, are you guys satisfied? How'd you feel about my list, Eddie? Tell me the truth.